to me, Jackson, and welcome back to another's episodes of Real Talk. If you did not understand me, I said, hey everyone, it's me, Jackson, and welcome back to another episode of uh, Real Talk. And in this episode, we're going to be doing facts again. Yeah, and sorry I haven't been posting lately, it's because it's been Christmas, and also, about Christmas, how has your Christmas been going? Well, if you celebrate Christmas, and what'd you get? I got a ring light. I really want one. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, it's raining right now, it's cold, so that's why I'm wearing this sweater. But anyways, enough talking, let's get into the video. Alright. Billy goats urinate on their own heads to smell more attractive to females. I, I, I why goat? Why Billy? Now, Billy Goat, why, why do you, why, how does, I don't even know how a goat thinks, how does urinating on yourself, on your head, meant to make you more, smell more attractive to females? Does your urine smell like flowers? Does your urine smell like romance? What? You want them to probably kiss you, right? How would why would they want to kiss you if you have urine all over your head? Anyways, let's read more about this fact. Billy goat or bucks is the name given to male goats. Generally, the urine on this uh, and on themselves in late summer through fall, and for humans, it's not a pleasant smell. Yeah, duh. Of course, it's not a pleasant smell. How would urine be a pleasant? So, they urinate themselves in late summer through fall and for humans. So, they, so they pee on their heads to be more attract, to smell more attractive for, sorry, for goats and humans? I just don't get it because I don't even know why I'm arguing with a goat right now. I don't even know why I'm arguing with a goat who pees on them. I just don't get why. Why do I give it in the microphone? I just don't get why you have to urine on yourself to make you smell more attractive. <laughs> Anyways, let's go on to the next fact because this one is really weird. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. Ketchup was a medicine in the early 1800s. Ketchup was a medicine in the early 1800s. How? Why? What, what, was, what made you think that that was a medicine? So doctors in the 1800s said, Ketchup, or either they just said it was ketchup, it was medicine, or just I don't know, or it was I, I don't know. But today's doctors know or think that the <laughs> so today's doctors don't think it's medicine, but the eighteen hundred doctors thought it was medicine. But what I'm trying, I'm thinking about here, is what if it is medicine, and we just we the, the we everything just everything we just created more medicines and different things that now we just use ketchup as a topping for stuff or just something to dip for like fries or a burger or um chicken nugget chicken nuggies and stuff like that. What if it is a medicine? But since we have so much new medicines and stuff, what if now that's that's the medicine and ketchup is now just a food thing? I don't know. I need to read more about this fact because I don't get why how it was before and then now it's not. Anyways, and I 
1834, American Dr. John Cook Bennett, very long name, let's see this again, in 1834, American doctor John Cook Bennett added tomatoes to ketchup. L l hear this again. Hear this. Hear in your ear. Hear this. In 1834, American doctor. Must be a very, 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 um, what's the word? Dumb doctor. Dr. John Cook Bennett added tomatoes to ketchup. What do you, how do you add tomatoes to ketchup? How do you add tomatoes to ketchup when isn't, 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 um, ketchup made out of tomatoes? Like Hanes, like that, um, that, the brand, it has a big tomato on the front. The leaf, the binding. How could you add, like, Add more to adding many vitamins and antioxidants to the sauce. Then he branded it as medicine to cure diarrhea and digestion. Indigestion. John Dice, John Dis, or John Dice, and why is there so many different words? Rheumatism. Them. Something like that. I don't know. Is the doctor seeing this? I don't know what that means. Just tears it's spelled out. R H E U M A T I S M. There you go. Tell me what that is. Anyways. Um, so he had ketchup, added more tomatoes to it, and this put a nice old sticker and just slapped it and be like, BAM! Medicine! Medicine! Adding tomato... Sorry about that. Adding tomatoes to ketchup. Adding tomatoes to tomatoes. Adding tomatoes to smushed potatoes. Um, tomatoes. Anyways, let's go on to the next fact. This is so. What is this? What is that? Anyways. And God, she's insane. Sorry. Yeah. Taylor Swift. Anyways, um, before 1913, you could legally mail a baby. Now, why did you want? Why do you want to legal? Why do you want to mail a baby anyway? Why do you want to mail a baby any? Like what? How do you not feel bad for a baby? So you're mailing a baby. Say you're mailing a baby across the world. Imagine you're mailing a baby. Yes, I said what I said. Imagine you're mailing a baby across the world or something, and it's a very long flight. You know, like thirteen hours, fifteen minutes, anything. 20 hours, 24 hours, I don't know. Los Angeles to China. Um, something like that. And you want to send the baby. You want to you wanna mail the baby. But why do you want to mail the baby? Why do you want to mail a baby? Okay, so like I said, let me make this more clear. So you want to mail, say you want to mail from America to China. That's like 24 hours, right? I think so. Anyways, so you want to mail the baby 24 hours alone, just mailing the baby. No wonder it is illegal because why would you want to mail a baby all the way across the world or whatever? I don't even, maybe if it's just like across the road or a couple blocks down, but mailing a baby. So you just put it in a box, put some holes in it. Like, what if it gets hungry? What, is there, like, some special person who takes care of the baby traveling? Because, and why do you want to, why, why are you mailing a baby anyways? What's, what's going on in your head? What, why do you want to mail a baby? Why do you want to mail a baby? What's the reason? 
What is the reason? Anyways, let's read more about this fact because I am very angry. If you get that, because <laughs> yeah, really, I mean, yeah. Sorry about that. Anyways, mailing children became a common practice in rural America as the postage price for a child was cheaper than the price of a child's train or bus ticket. Thank God this one's not legal anymore. Yeah, because why? So, you want to mail the baby because it's cheaper to put it in a bus or a train. But what am I saying? Why do you want to do it anyways? Why, why can't you just take the baby with this? Why do you need to mail a baby anyways? What What is the reason you need to mail a baby? What do you need to do? Why? Why? War? War? I just don't get the reason because I don't care if it's cheaper. I don't care if it's legal. I don't care. The price. I'm not mailing a baby. That's like across the world or something like that. All right. Anyways, that fact got me really angry. <laughs> mm. Anyways, let's go on to the next thing. Anyways, let's go on to the next. Go to the next fact. Ba -ba -doo, ba -ba -doo. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit here. <laughs> All right, here it is. Before alarm, clo alarm clocks were affordable, professional knocker uppers woke people up for work. Now, so people knocked on your door like. Because they have alarm clocks or anything. Oh my gosh. My voice like sounded like a robot there. Really? Anyways. So before they had alarm clocks, people knocked on their doors like bang, 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 bang to wake them up. <laughs> no. Me, me, me? Oh, yes, I have a very special thing to say. Since I'm like right here, I want to say something. Request. Request. Okay, anyways, that had nothing to do with what I was going to say. Anyways, so. Who woke up the, the, the knocker uppers? Who woke up the, who woke up the, knocker, knock, the knocker uppers to wake up other people? Because they did have alarm clocks, and so did other knocker, but how did... What, so the knocker uppers had other knocker uppers wake up? No, because how would those knocker uppers wake up? And those knocker uppers, and blah, 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 or just one knocker upper to knock on everyone's door. And how did they wake up? How did they, is there a specific time you have to wake everyone up? Are you just used to it? Or what if your first day? How do you know what time the person's meant to wake up? Does everyone just give you a list? But then how do you wake up? I'm confused, because how do you wake up? Um, and how does the other knocker uppers wake up? And how does the knocker rapper of the knocker rapper of the knocker rapper? How do you know the people's schedules? How do you know what time to wake them up? How do you know how do you know how do you wake up? What if you wake up late? Other people would be to work or anything late and you get fired or mad. Ah. Anyways, let's read more about this fact. This started during the inter... In I know how to say this word, but I can't right now. Industrial? Industrial? I don't know. I forgot how to say it. Revolution in Britain and carried on in some places until the 1970s. But I'm, I'm, I'm just going to keep saying this. How could the knocker, 
knocker uppers wake up? Did the other knocker uppers? But then how did they wake up? Do they, is there a specific time? Is there a specific time that you have to wake them up? Does everyone give you something a list? How does the knocker uppers wake up? Like how do they know what time to wake up at? How? What about on the first day? Like what happens if they don't know some schedule and someone has to wake up at five o'clock, but um, someone else has to wake up at seven, or someone else has to wake up at three, and someone else has to wake up at six, or seven, or eight, or ten? How do they know? Very confusing. But anyways, that was our last fact. And these facts are very confusing. Like the knocker uppers and the male baby. But anyways, before we leave, Make sure, you, make sure you subscribe and like this video. Why? Because it's a nice thing to do. And because there's actually no reason, but I just want you to. And it's just a really nice thing to do. And like this video because this video was awesome. Because why? How? Because I know this video was awesome. But anyways, I guess. I will see you guys in the next episode. So, anyways, uh, bye!